Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan the Glassman here. You're watching the Glassman's World. And we just got our first little dusting of some snow. It's actually sleet. It's basically some ice balls. So I am actually trying to save some of our plants right now. We're going to try to bring this in and a couple of these other ones inside here. But that's the good thing about the self-watering containers is because then we can simply bring them in and keep them safe. So we just got these three in today. And this one, I'm going to go outside and grab another one real quick. And we'll see if we can save. Let's see what other ones we can save real quick. Because it's about to freeze on our plants today. So we got uh, we got this one here, this uh, Tulsi. These ones are all self-watering containers. They could actually come inside. But I think, uh, I think they're pretty much done for the season. We're going to let them go. Maybe we can protect the mint. We got some mint back here. Tulsi, we I think we have plenty of Tulsi and plenty of Tulsi seeds. So we'll harvest the seeds here and, um, and we'll get that tomato off the plant today. Actually, let's just grab that now. There's another one down there. That one's not ready, but I don't know what's going to happen with it. And uh, we might be able to bring in our goji, but we'll bring in the Tulsi, the Tulsi. And hopefully we can bring in this tower right now and save it real quick. So we'll see what we can do. It's getting cold today. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? So there you go. That's why it's super important to have self-watering containers. And if we had more space, I could bring all our plants in. But I don't know if I could. But check it out. We got a beautiful tomato. We just harvested it today. All right, there you go. I'm going to let you all go. We're just going to keep it short and sweet. Um, but real quick and simple, um, babe, can you grab one of those containers from underneath right there? The what? The container. There's a pre-made one with a wick. Uh, yes. Thank you. So check it out. Just a, a recap on how quick and easy it is to make these. You simply just get a bottle. You make sure that the lid is on top of it, right? You put a hole through the lid while it's on that's how i do it at least that way i use a knife so it's harder to try to do it with just a cap you have a lot more to hold on to put a hole through the the cap then you cut the bottle so then you have a have this portion here then you put a wick through it normally you take the the cap off the wick or sorry the cap off the bottle uh force it through from the outside in pull it up just about an inch or so up that's probably about an inch and a half, two inches. Make sure that the wick is long enough to reach the bottom. So that way when you fill it up with water, like that there, then it'll be able to wick up the water. So all these plants here, they've just been doing fine, doing excellent. You can see we got our aquaponic system all set up with a bunch of things. The fish are really happy, the water is clean. So there you go. That's the reason why it's important to have self-watering systems, guys. So, because then we can bring them in. Look at that one needs some water. Got to water some of our plants too. All right, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a beautiful day. Love and blessings.